Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is probably such like, I don't know why I'm filming like this. I could totally use my tripod right now. Anyways, so it's Sunday night and I'm just chilling at home, nothing really to do. And I was getting in the mood of wanting to film a video. So I just kept, you know, saying to myself, like, I want to film a video. I want to film a video. But then at the same time, I was like, mm, I really don't want to put makeup on because I've just had a shower, hence the hair and the, the state of my face. Um, yeah, I didn't really want to put makeup on or anything like that. But then, but then I was like, hey, why don't I film my makeup collection? So my makeup collection has been probably one of the most highly requested videos that I've got pretty much the only requested video that I've ever got. Um, a lot of people have asked me to do it. They want to see what makeup I have. Blah, 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 blah. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to film my makeup collection. And just a little disclaimer now, I am not bragging about how much makeup I have. I am not bragging about how much money I can spend or how much money I do spend. That is not the point of this video whatsoever. It is just me simply showing you how, you know, like what my makeup collection looks like because that's what you guys have asked for. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So if you guys would like to see my makeup collection, please keep watching. Okay, so here is a quick little overview of my makeup area. Um, you guys probably would have already seen this in my how to start a YouTube video. Um, so I have two acrylic drawers. I have this set of drawers here, but there's like nothing in there other than just like junk. And then these two Alex drawers are full of makeup, um, except I think like these two down here that's just got like junk in there at the moment. Um, and I'm pretty sure this one's empty. I don't know. But that is the basic overview of my... Oh, jeez. Oh, sorry, camera. Um, that is the basic overview of my makeup. Okay, so this is my first set of Alex drawers that I have here. And firstly, just sorry for the lighting. It is very yellow. It's just because I got my light on. And obviously, you can kind of see from here, it's quite dark outside. So anyways, this is my first um, acrylic drawers. I got both of these acrylic drawers from Catch of the Day. Um, which is an online Australian store. I don't know if they still have them on there. I'm pretty sure they do and they are $50. Okay, so the first drawer that I have here are just all of my samples. So at the moment I've got a Urban Decay um, lipstick wardrobe. I have a Too Faced Cacao powder foundation. I didn't even know they had a foundation. Like powder form. Um, I've got another foundation. I've got an Hourglass. What is this? a skin tint and then a moisturizer from Clinique and I've just got like a whole bunch of stuff um, and this is probably like my most decent sized sample this is the NARS Laguna bronzer which is in like a liquid form um, but yeah that's pretty much that's everything in that drawer this is like some of the stuff that I try and use a lot through my videos because I hate just leaving samples because I get so many of them. My next drawer is everything for my eyebrow products so in here I have the Maybelline Tattoo um, Brow Gel Tint. If you guys haven't seen my video on that, I will link it down below. It's a really good product, well, in my opinion. Um, then I have the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. This stuff is so good, you guys. If you don't have it, it is so, so good. Um, it adds like little fibers to your eyebrows and stuff like that. So it is a really, really good product and I'm hoping it's going to focus. It's probably not. The next thing I have in here is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I do not like this at all. It's literally the most hated product, but I still have it because it was like 40 something dollars. So I try to use it. Um, the next thing I have is the Remort Brow This Way Clear Brow Gel. Um, I have the Astralis Tint My Brow. Um, and this is probably my favorite product, as you guys would probably know. This is the um, Essence Eyebrow Stylus Set. This is one of my favorite products to use for my eyebrows. So it's just got like two tones in there. You can guys can see that I've used it like a lot. Um, but it's such an amazing product and it's literally $2 from Priceline. So not even mad. Um, I then have the Maybelline Master Brow Pro Palette and I do not like this one either. 
so go away. <laughs> um, this is my recent purchase. This is the NYX Tame and Frame Pomade. Can't even see it. There we go. Um, this is actually a really, really good brow pomade. Um, I don't mind it at all. I have the shade Espresso. Um, but it's really, really good. So I've only used it once, so I need to try it again. But for my first use, it was really good. Um, this is my absolute favorite. It's like my ride or die. This is my Chi Chi Brow Pomade in medium brown. I use this in like every single video. So you guys probably know how much I love it. And then lastly, I have the Essence. What is this? Essence Make me brow yeah make me brow this is just a brow gel and it is really really good okay the next drawer that i have here is all of my mascaras um i'm not a mascara hoarder i know what i like and sometimes i'll pick up like the occasional mascara just to change things up a little bit but i'm not one to have you know millions and millions of mascaras this is probably a lot to some but to me this is like nothing um, the first one I have is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. This one's not too bad. I just don't like how big the brush is. Um, and then I have the NYX um, Faux Lashes. This is so funny because when I fought, first bought this, I pronounced it as Fox, la Fox, Fox Lashes or something like that. But I know it's Faux. I just wasn't paying attention and that's just what I called it. The next one I have is my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is my absolute holy grail. This is my ride or die. This is my most loved mascara. This is like my fifth tube and it's like empty. So I'm going to go buy a new one tomorrow. <laughs> this is my new one. This is the um, Essence False Lashes Mascara um, with the like extra volume, extra curl type of thing. So far, I'm not the biggest fan of it just because it is quite clumpy um, but I'm going to give it another go and see if it's a bit better. Um, I have a Maybelline Colossal Volume Mascara, um, Essence uh, Get Big Lashes Mascara. This is a pretty good one. It's only $5 so it's a good one to try. Um, this is the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. Not my favorite but it's good for the lower lashes so that's why I like it. Um, and then I have the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara which is Amazing. I love it so freaking much. Um, then I have some... Whoop. Then I have some Ardell Lash Glue. Really, like, nothing important. Um, I then have my eyelash curler tweezer thingies. I don't even use these. I don't know why I have them. I have a Beauty Blender Cleaner. And then I also have... Whoop. And then I have my Talika Eyelash Grower thingy. Whatever this is. This just helps grow your lashes and your eyebrow hairs. And it most definitely works. It's literally amazing. So that's what I have in here. And then when I have my eyelash extensions, this is my long life savior coating sealer thingy. Just makes my eyelashes last a whole lot longer. In the next drawer, I have my eyeliners. So once again, like the mascaras, I am not a huge eyeliner person. Um, I know what I like and when I find something I like, that's just what I'll stick to. So I don't have a lot in here. Um, so the first one that I have is the Bourjois, what is this? Metalized eyeliner. There we go. So this is the color here. It's absolutely stunning. It's really bright. Um, I've had this for ages and I've sharpened it a lot and it's still quite big. Um, the next thing I have is the NYX Glam Liner in the blue shade. You guys have seen me use this like a million and one times. It's super freaking pretty. Look at that. Woo. Next I have the, um, who is this by? Oh, this is by Maybelline. This is a Maybelline Hypergloss Eyeliner. This is not my favorite, but it's, it's okay. Um, I then have another NYX Glam Liner and this one is in the silver shade. And this one is super pretty, um, but it's not the most pigmented. It takes quite a while to like build up. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little bit chunky, but I still really like it. It's quite pretty. Um, next I have the, uh, what is this? Avon Glimmer Sticks. This is not my favorite. So it's just like a crayon eyeliner. Um, it's... Honestly, it's not that bad, but it is a little bit dry. I don't even know why my camera is not focusing. Why are you not focusing? Anyways, moving on. Next, I have the Too Faced Sketch Marker in Espresso. That's just a brown eyeliner. I have the NYX White Eyeliner, which is quite good, but it does crack off, which is not a good thing. Um, I have the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Honestly, not my favorite, but it's okay, but... 
I will probably never purchase that one again. Um, I then have the Essence Kajal pencil. This is really, really good. It's just a black pencil um, and I really need to sharpen it. And then everyone would know that my absolute favorite is the Maybelline Mast Precise Eyeliner. This is my absolute life and it's not even focusing. There we go. Um, it's such a good freaking eyeliner. I've used it for like six years now and it's just amazing. In this roll, I have all my single eyeshadows um, and I also have a cream eyeshadow. So in here I have two bourgeois ones. So in the silver and the gold. Um, I have a Revlon Diamond Dust. Now, you can't buy this anymore, I'm pretty sure, but it is just a super sparkly dust. It's so pretty. Um, then I have the Clean Color American Eye Wet to Dry Baked Eyeshadow in this beautiful, like, um, uh, like forest green shade. Never used it, but, you know, it's just there. Um, I then have, what are these? These are the Maybelline Eye Studio Quads. Now, these are my absolute life, especially this one. Like, I've already hit pan. Um, oh, I broke it. Um, these are the most amazing and pigmented eyeshadows, like, I have come across when it comes to the drugstore. Next, I have a Stila Magnificent Middle Eyes, and this is in the shade Baby, uh, wait, Ballet Baby. This is so beautiful. I use this in one of my Halloween tutorials, so if you want to know how it works, definitely go and check that out. And then I have three Essence Single Eyeshadows. So the colors that I have. So this one here is Peach Beach and it's just a beautiful peachy color. I'm so over my camera right now, like it needs to focus. So it's really sparkly. Um, the next shade that I have is Chill Out and this is like a whitey silver kind of color. And then I have Strawberry Ice Cream, which is super cute and super pretty. And then last but not least, this is my absolutely most favorite drawer ever. These um, are all my pigments and then some cream shadows as well. I should probably put this one down here. Like, I don't know why that's even there. So these are all my Inglot Pure Eye pigments. So except for these ones here. So all of these are my Inglot ones. These are literally my absolute life. There we go. So I've kind of got you at a better angle now. So I've got quite a lot of these. Um, these ones here are my Samantha Jade um, collaboration with Models Prefer. Is it Models Prefer or Model Co? Yeah, so Models Prefer. These are beautiful pigments. They are so good for the price. They're about $14 for the um, set of three, so they're really good. Um, and then I have the Astralis Met Metalics. Yeah, Metalics Cream Eyeshadows. These are absolutely amazing, so I highly recommend those. But yeah, this is my favorite drawer of all time. I would go through all the shades, but I would be here forever. Okay, so moving on to the next acrylic drawer. Um, in the top one, I have majority of my primers. Now, this is not all of them. This is just my most used ones. So in here, I have the L'Oreal Lumi Magique. I have my Too Faced Hangover. Um, my Cover FX Mattifying Primer with the acne treatment in it. Um, I have the Rimmel Fix and Protect. My MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I then have the NYX Pore Filler, which is literally like so amazing. I love it so freaking much. Um, I have the Essence Eye Heart Stage Eye Primer, Maybelline Baby Skin. Um, this is the Josie Marin, what is this? Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. This is actually really freaking good. It makes your skin look amazing. So that was a sample. Um, I have a Too Faced Shadow Insurance, another Hangover Primer. Um, this is the, what is this? This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Honestly, like I've used this so many times and it's just like your everyday primer. I thought it was going to help with creasing, but it's just like, it's just average, so meh. Um, then I have the Mecca Max Bring On Bright Illuminating Primer. That's quite good. Um, and then this is my absolute favorite. This is just a sample of the YSL Blur Primer. Um, so the blur primer has little gold flecks in it. It's just so amazing at blurring out your skin and just making you look so airbrushed. Okay, so the next drawer that I have is my concealers and I know what you're thinking. I have issues. I need to go to a concealer therapist or something like that because I have way too many concealers. I have issues. Okay, so the first one we have here, this is, oh, who is this by? I don't know. I think this is by uh, Maybelline, but this is the Dream Lumi um, concealer and I'm almost out of it. I'm trying to use the leftover bits. 
Um, and then I have some LA Girl concealers. So these are probably one of my most favorite concealers um, on the cheaper side. So I have a couple of those. I've got some more over here as well. I've also got the green one for color correcting. Um, I have one of my favorite concealers. This is the Thin Lizzy Concealer Cream. Um, I have the shade Duchess. It is a really good concealer. It's super full, heavy coverage. Um, so it's really good, especially for those if you have really bad um, pimples or acne or anything like that. It's really good at covering all that up. Then I have the Maybelline Fit Me, the Maybelline Master Conceal. They are amazing. Um, and then I have my two NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers, both in the shade Custard. Um, the next one I have is the Elizabeth Arden Double Wear Concealer. Honestly, not worth the hype. It's just like your average Joe concealer. It's not the greatest, but you know, it does the job. Except that it smells like paint thinner. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to smell like that, but it smells like paint thinner. Um, and then at the back, I have the Maybelline Age Rewind, which is honestly just like a meh to me. I don't really know what people go crazy about. And then this is my most hated, unfortunately. Um, this is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. Now, I love the foundation, but seriously, this is just... That's just terrible. It's the worst concealer in the entire world. Okay, so in this drawer, I have some powders. Um, now, these are powders that I have not really used yet. Um, so the first one here that I have is the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Powder in the, in the shade Darkest Brown. Now, I ended up buying a second one of this because at the time it was my shade, but for some reason, it just looks really weird on me now. Um, and then I have another Darkest Brown that I just don't really use. Um, these two here, I've been, they've both been repressed, which is why they might look a little bit funny. Um, these are the Rimmel Stay Matte Powders, and they're both in the shade Sandstorm. Moving on to most used powders, um, this is what I use like on the daily basis. So I have another Astralis Fresh and Flawless Powder. This one is in the shade Deep Natural. This is much more suited to my skin tone. Um, I then have the MAC Pro Longwear Powder. This one is in the shade Light. This is a very well-loved product. But at the same time, it's like a love-hate relationship. It's either going to work with me or it's not. I then have another Sandstorm Powder. And I also have the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent, which I really freaking love. Um, moving on to my under eye setting powders. My first one is the e.l.f. under eye setting powder. This is the most amazing powder in the entire world. It is so good at setting your under eyes and it's like $8. So you can't go wrong. The next two that I have are the Bare Minerals Concealer Powders. I have the shade um, Well Rested and Summer Bisque. Both of these are just incredible. So Summer Bisque is a bit more tanny, a bit more pink and Well Rested is a bit on the yellow side. So they both suit me quite well, um, but I love my Well Rested more than anything. Moving on to blushes. Now, I'm not a big blush person, which is why I don't have too many. Um, so we'll just go through these ones quickly. Um, I have two NYX um, blushes. These are the powder blushes. I have the shade Mocha and also Dusty Rose. So these two are so freaking similar. I don't even know why I bought them because they look like identical. I then have my favorite blush. This is the one that I use like pretty much all the time. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Risqué. It's literally like so pretty and it's so natural. Like you can't even really see it. Um, the next blushes that I have are these two from Malibu Glitz. Now I got these off Shop Miss A. So they were like a dollar and they are so freaking pigmented. It is literally a whole new level. I don't know if you guys can see that. You probably can't knowing my stupid freaking camera. Um, but they are so pigmented and I feel for, I mean for a dollar, they are so pigmented. The next one I have is the Clear Airbrush Blush. And this one is super freaking sparkly. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a highlighter. Um, I sometimes do just use it as a highlighter um, just because it is so shimmery. But this was the most expensive blush I've ever bought. It was more expensive than my Tarte one. This one was about $49. So it was, I don't know why I bought it. I don't know. I can't give you an explanation. <laughs> 
This is the Jill Stewart um, blush quad thingy. This is such a beautiful blush. I was actually, whoa, I was actually gifted this um, from my partner's aunt. So she gave this to me. So I don't actually know where you can buy Jill Stewart, um, but it came with a little blush um, brush and stuff like that, which was actually attached to the side of the compact, but it's so pigmented and so freaking beautiful. Next, I have two of the e.l.f. Um, all over color sticks. The shades that I have um, a pink lemonade and golden peach. These are so beautiful and honestly the, some of the most pigmented cream blushes I've ever used. Um, not to mention pink lemonade. This one right here smells so good. I had to try and not eat it like that's not even a joke. Okay so this is the first drawer in my Alex drawers now. I realize this is actually ridiculous. No one needs this much. Um, but I'm sure there's, there's multiple people out there that have way more than this, so ignore my leg. Um, so I'm gonna go through this quite quickly because there is a lot of stuff in here. Um, these are my foundations um, and my beauty blenders. So for foundation, oh, that's the camera, don't worry about that. Um, so the first one I have is the L'Oreal True Match. Now this is my mum's, but Sometimes I use it for like Halloween makeup because it is a lot lighter than my skin tone. Um, so I have that one. Um, I have another one for Halloween. This is my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade Porcelain. Um, I also use that for Halloween tutorials. The next one I have is the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. Honestly, this is, I don't know, maybe one of the worst foundations I've used. Not because it's a bad formula per se, but the coverage on it just is non-existent. The next one I have is the Dermacol Makeup Cover, and this is such a good foundation. Unfortunately, it's just not my shade, so I need to get my shade. Um, that would be a good idea. The next one I have is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. Now, this is not a bad foundation. It's actually quite good. Um, it's just that the color is not the greatest when it comes to me. So I wish they had a better select, say, shade selection, but oh well, what are you gonna do? The next one I have is my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is my, one of my favorite foundations. It's actually quite good. Um, once again, the color is just a little off. Okay, so this is the next foundation I have. I actually just bought this the other day. This is the Rimmel um, Lasting Finish 24 so 25 hour breathable foundation. Um, this is only new, so I'm actually going to be doing a review on this very soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, everyone knows that this is my holy grail foundation. This is the Ready Set Gorgeous foundation by CoverGirl in 210. Um, and then my other favorite, this is the L'Oreal True Match. This is in my shade, which is, what shade is this in? Um, this is in 3N Beige Cream, so such a good foundation in my opinion. Um, I then have the Chi Chi Super CC Cream. This is actually really good, especially for summer. It's quite light, but it's got amazing coverage on it. So I have a couple of primers in here as well, and the first one is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. Um, I got this quite a while ago, and I feel like I use this more so for skincare than anything. The next primer that I have is this one here by Urban Decay. This is a self-adjusting primer. As you can see, I've used like a lot of it. This is my all-time holy grail foundation, I mean primer. It is so freaking good. I adore it like no tomorrow. I also keep my beauty blenders in here. So this one is the original. Um, I then have the Pro. And I also have the little one for like your under eye area and stuff like that. Then moving on to setting sprays. Anyway, so the first one that I have is the new Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 setting spray. So this is a primer and also a spray. Um, the only thing I hate about this is the fact that the mister, so when you spray it, it is absolutely shit. The next one I have is the Urban Decay Chill Makeup and Setting Spray, Cooling and Hydrating. Then I have two of the Mario Badescu sprays. I have the Rose Water and then the Aloe Vera one. Um, this is another primer that I have. This is one of my favorites. This is the Mecca Cosmetica Illuminating Primer. This is super freaking beautiful. It's so glowy. Next we have the NYX Dewy Finish um, Finishing Spray. This is super good. The mister on this is beautiful. Um, and I'm really enjoying this one so far. I've used it quite often and it really does make your face super dewy. This is a recent purchase. I only just picked this up and I haven't used it yet. This is the Essence Instant Matte um, setting spray. So I can't really say too much about this one. 
I also have the Mecca Cosmetica Makeup Perfecting Mist. This one's quite good. The smell of this is literally a whole nother level of beautiful. If you've never smelled it before, definitely go and smell it. Um, this is the Artiste Brush Cleaner. I just leave this in here because this is like my most used drawer. Um, so I use this to quick spot my, uh, click, wait, whoa. Quickly clean and spot clean on my brushes. It's Next I have the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray. And then moving on to the stuff that I kind of shoved in the back. These are my simple moisturizers. So this one is the Rich Moisturizer and this one is the light one. These are really good moisturizers. I've used them for years. And then at the very back and also just up here, I have two loose setting powders. So this is my Cody Airspun Powder, which is just like average. It's not amazing. Um, but it gets the job done, especially considering it's quite cheap. Um, and then this is my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. This is really, really good. If you guys haven't tried this yet, you definitely need to. It is so amazing. Okay, moving on to bronzers and highlighters now. This is the this is where I keep mine. Um, so starting very, you know, at the very bottom, this is my Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is my most loved bronzer of all time. It is so amazing. Um, I then have the MAC Gold Deposit. Um, obviously, this is a highlighter for like darker skinned um, girls and boys, but I use it as a bronzer topper and it's so amazing at that. Then I have the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in the shade, what is this? In the shade Sunkissed. Um, and it is such a good bronzer. It is a little bit on the red side, but I freaking love it. A really good dupe for that Urban Decay one is this one here. This is the NYC bronzer in Sunny. So this is super amazing. This is at $12 from Crush Cosmetics. So it's definitely worth picking up. The next one I have is the Mecca Max um, Sunlit Skin Bronzer in the shade Light. Oof, can't even open it. Um, this is an amazing bronzer because it is really buildable. It's super natural, but unfortunately it's too light for my skin tone. So I need to go and get a dark shade. I then have a sample of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, medium to deep bronzer. I've never used this because it does look quite grey toned, um, but I will eventually use it. Um, I have this one here by the, the Maybelline. I don't even know what I was going to say then. Um, this is the Master Glaze um, in like the bronzy shade. I've never even used this, so don't even know why I have it. Moving on to highlighters, now I have a freaking lot. So the first one here I have is the Luminizer, sorry, the, the Menizer, is that how you pronounce it? The Menizer Sisters. So this is a trio of all the Menizer. Um, so this is the Mary Lou, Cindy Lou, and Betty Lou Luminizers. These are all absolutely amazing. Definitely one of my favorites. These are my Holy Grail um, highlighters. These are the Inglot Sparkling Dusts. I have the shade 06 and 07. These are absolutely stunning. They are just super sparkly, super glowy, and they will bland the haters. The next one I have is the Josie Marin um, Argan in Lightweight, Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. Um, this is super beautiful, especially considering it's a cream. And I don't use creams, but this is the only cream that I will ever use. Um, I then have another e.l.f. all over stick, um, and this one is in this shade Permazin. Yeah, um, and it's just a beautiful like champagne-y gold color. I then have the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlighter, and this one is in the shade Warm Glow. It is super pretty. I really love this one. Um, I then have the um, Tarte Spellbound Sparkle Dust. Um, this is like for all over your body and everything like that. Um, keep in mind, this is just glitter. This is not so much like a glow or like a blinding highlight. It does have a little bit of shine to it, but it is mostly glitter, so keep that in mind. The next one I have is one of my all-time favorites, and this is the Mecca Max um, Skin Halo Diamond Dust in the shade White Gold. This is one of my favorite highlighters. It is super stunning. It's quite blinding, but at the same time, it's really natural, so it's very buildable as well. The next one I have is the L'Oreal True Match Highlighter Trio. Um, honestly, like, I'm not the biggest fan of this. It's just average. It's got, like, a little brush and a mirror down here. Um, but if you're looking for a good drugstore highlighter, that's probably the way to go. Then I have the iconic MAC Soft and Gentle. Um, and I also have this one from Bow Cosmetics. This is like a shimmer gold highlight. This was $1 and it's actually 
so freaking good. So you can get your hands on Bow Cosmetics. This is just the shimmer powder. And then last but not least, this is my NARS Albatross. Now, oh, if you don't know what NARS Albatross is, then my God, you are not following the right makeup people. Um, this is one of those old highlighters that every single person had. This was my first ever high-end purchase. I've had this for about six years. I don't even really use it anymore because I want to try and preserve it because it's my baby. I love it. And then at the very back of this drawer, just like chilling like under here, I have the Too Faced Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush Wardrobe. Now this is like, whew, this is intense. So it's got all their blushes in there. This is actually amazing. I don't use this too often. I know I need to start using it more. I think it's because I just always like sit it back there. Okay, moving on to the first drawer of my eyeshadow palettes. Um, now I will link the description box in, in, sorry, in the description box of where I got my little organizer from. But starting from down here, the first one I have is the Too Faced Sugar Pop eyeshadow palette. Um, yes, I keep the packaging. Don't judge me. Um, this is such a colorful and fun palette. This is my first colorful palette that I ever bought. So I cherish it quite a lot. Um, the next one I have is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. Oh dear. This is another one of their tiny palettes and I love this one so much. Um, it's a really good travel palette as well. The next one I have is the Mecca Max um, Wink Weapon Mini Palette in Established. This is quite a good palette, except for that color right there. If you guys ever saw my Mecca Maxima um, review of all their new makeup, you'll know what I feel about this palette. Um, but all the other colors are fantastic, so I really like that one. Um, this is my Morphe 35B palette. Um, everyone knows that you know what this one is. Um, I use this in majority of my tutorials, especially my Nintendo series. So this is a very well loved palette, but. Because it is so big, I've got nowhere else to put it other than back there. Now, starting with all of these ones up here. So the reason why I have these ones in my um, acrylic organizers is because these are my most used palettes. This is my most used drawer. So I just thought, why not? The first one I have are all my makeup, I, uh, makeup Geek eyeshadows. These are all the single pans. I have a couple of foiled, um, so my foiled ones are up here, and then I've just got a lot of matte ones. I am going to be getting more, but I don't really know when, because, you know, apparently I need more. So the next palette that I have is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. We all know how amazing this palette is, um, and I've used it quite a lot on my channel. It is my favorite freaking eyeshadow palette of all Time. Like, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite. The next eyeshadow palette I have is the BYS Berries palette. Now, this is an exact dupe for the Modern Renaissance palette. So, the Modern Renaissance is $75 in Australia. This one right here is, I think it was $10 from Kmart. Um, and then Cosmetics Plus sell them for about $20 or so. So, this is an exact dupe for the Modern Renaissance. It is freaking amazing. I can't even express to you how pigmented it is. If anything, it's more pigmented than this one. It's just, it's so good, far out. Um, I also got the Peach Palette from BYS as well. This one is just amazing as well. Um, and it is a dupe for the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, which I'll show you in just a minute. Next, we have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, which is what I was just kind of showing you with this one here, so the bit of a dupe. Um, this one is absolutely amazing. I love my peach palette so much, and oh my gosh, the smell. It smells so amazing. It's just, oh. Next, we have the iconic uh, Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, I still have the little insert and everything. Um, this is one of my favorite palettes of all time. It's so amazing. I take this one pretty much every time I go traveling because it's got beautiful colors in it. It's so versatile and it's so easy for me to create any kind of look. Next, we have the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. Um, and then last but not least for this drawer, I have the Huda Beauty Textured Rose Gold Palette. This is my favorite. I'm using this nearly every single day. It's my absolute life at the moment. Um, and then these acrylic drawers, uh, sorry, stand up thingies that I got for my palettes. They are from the makeup box shop here in Australia. 
Okay, so this is the last draw of my eyeshadow palette. So I have quite a few in here, but I don't have um, an organizer for these ones as of yet. So the first one that I have is my Violet Boss um, Pro Eyeshadow Palette for the, this is the Holy Grail one. Um, I love this eyeshadow palette so much. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. The next one that I have is the Violet Boss Laura Lee Palette. This is another amazing palette that I absolutely adore. I don't use this one too often just because I'm obviously using like all the other ones. But this is such a good eyeshadow palette. Next we have my two BH Cosmetics palettes and... Oh, so this is the first one. This is my Shan XO palette. You can't really see it because the packaging is so pale. Um, so this side are the eyeshadows. So there's nine eyeshadows and they are so pigmented, so beautiful, so blendable. It's just amazing. And then you flip it around onto this side and then she also has her nine favorite lipsticks. Then I have the Kali Bible palette by BH Cosmetics. Um, this is definitely one of my favorites as well. So down here, all the highlighters, and then she's got her eyeshadows on the top. This is such a good palette, so buildable, so blendable, and just so freaking pigmented. Next, I have the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette. Now, this is not one of my favorites, hence why it's down here. Um, even though the eyeshadows are pigmented, they blend really well, they do not last long. So I have my MAC Soft, o Soft Ochre Paint Pot um, as a primer, and I use something else. Oh, I use the Essence one as well. And honestly, they were gone by the end of the night. So that's why it's in here. The next one I have is the Zoeva Rose Gold palette. I've hardly used this one. I've only used it um, when I do clients' makeup. Next, I have the BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. This is so beautiful, but it is down here because I hardly use it anymore. The next palette that I have is the Sleek Makeup Palette. And this one is in I Divine Original 594. And these are all shimmer colors. So they are super, super shimmery, quite metallic and really, really freaking pretty. Next, I have the Ultimate Lips 28 Color Lipstick Palette by BH Cosmetics. This is a really good lip palette if you're doing freelancing or you're a makeup artist in general and you use um, drugstore makeup. This is really good, very pigmented. They are incredibly, incredibly creamy. Like it's ridiculous how smooth and creamy these things are. This palette right here is something that I don't use anymore, um, but um, it's actually like broken if you can see that. Um, but this was the first ever eyeshadow palette that I got. My mum got this one for me when I was about 12 years old and it's just got a lot of sentimental value to it. So I keep it. I don't use it anymore because obviously it's about, oh, I don't even, it's about 10 years old or something like that. So obviously it's probably not the safest to use, especially considering it goes on your eyes. So here I have my makeup brushes. I just always have them sitting there um, and they are sitting in these little containers that I got from Daiso. They were about $2. And then over here, I have my most used and favorite lipsticks. Um, so I have MAC, I've got some Maybelline, this one right here, if it stops focusing, oh dear. So the silver topped one is by ColourPop. I have some Too Faced and then all the black lids are all Tarte. So they are all my favorite Tarte ones. Um, this right here is all the stuff for my eyelashes. Anyways, that's all the stuff for my eyelashes. So my Tarte Lash Glue, my Revlon Tweezers, and then this little, whoop. This little thing right here is like all my nail files and just really unimportant stuff. This right here is my Inglot Dural Line, so I always use this if my um, eye po uh, my eyebrow pomades are like dried out or something like that. I always use this. This is just a little Kmart candle that I have. I've got some Q-tips back here and then I've got all my makeup wipes sitting at the back. Okay, so this top drawer right here, oh, just ignore my PJs. This top drawer right here is all of my eyelashes. So this is all my eyelashes. So in here, I've got a couple of eyelashes from Cara Cosmetics. Now, all of these eyelashes, they are all from Shop Miss A. These are by Kiss Lashes and they are in the shade 01. These are from Cosmetics Plus. They are so amazing. They're about $13 for the set of two. I also have some eyelashes from BYS. These are like crazy big. I don't know if you can see how massive these ones are, but they are like so dramatic. They are humongous. I then have some Ardell Wispies and I've also got 
some red cherry lashes in the shade, in the shade, what? Um, in the number 217 and they are super freaking beautiful. Down here, I've got some Revlon lashes. These are really, really good, super cheap as well. Um, it's crazy the actual quality of these considering they're about $9. I then also have some EXO Beauty Lashes from Shannon Harris on YouTube. And then all the way back here I've got these eyelashes from Beauty Lashes. These were super cheap so they're not the greatest but for like drugstore tutorials and stuff like that. They are pretty good. They're about $6 from Chemist Warehouse. This is where I got mine from. Moving on to the next drawer, this is all my highlighting and contouring palettes. So this is where I keep all of them just because there's not much room on the other side. Um, so the first one that I have here is the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. So I got mine from Beauty Bay and I freaking love it. It is such a good palette. The next one I have is my Holy Grail, like one that I use every single time I do my makeup. And this is the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette, uh, sorry, Glow Kit. Um, this is my absolute favorite favorite glow kit of all time. I use this 24 seven. The day I run out of this is the day I'll probably pass out because I'm pretty sure it's not in Sephora anymore. Then I have the Astralis AC on tour contouring kit. I never even use this anymore, but I used to love it as you can see, like there's a big dent in that one. That one's hit pan, that's just, it's a big miss. I then have the Tartiest Pro Glow palette by Tarte. This is one of my favorites. It's so worth the money, you guys. I know it's very expensive, but it is so worth the money. These highlighters and this sculpt shade is just a whole nother level of amazing. I then have the BYS Sculpt and Glow Palette. You guys already know how I feel about this. These two highlighters are just as good, if not on the exact same level as both of the ABH ones. So if you're looking for a good palette that's not gonna cost you a heap of money, Definitely, definitely pick this one up. It's about $12 from Kmart. Um, I then have the Revlon Sculpt and Glow Contour Kit in collaboration with Chloe Morello on YouTube. It's good, but it's not amazing. Um, I don't hate it though. I do reach for it every now and then. And then last but not least, this is the Designer Brands Contouring Kit. This is one of my favorites. I've already hit pan on the yellow. Um, and then this one is actually quite good for contouring. So I definitely really like that one. Okay, and then the last drawer that I have for you guys tonight is my lipstick drawer. Now at the moment it's slightly empty, but because I don't have that many lipsticks. So this one here is the uh, Mecca Cosmetica lip balm. This has like really pretty gold sparkles in it. This one here is the, what actually is this? I got this as a present. This is the Clinique uh, Defining Lips Long Lasting Liquid Preview Palette. Um, and it's so cool. You like click the sides and it like, how ah, cool is that? Hang on, one more time, one more time, one more time. Oh, that's so cool. Anyway, so these are the colors right here. I haven't had a chance to use this yet, but it does come with this super cute brush that you like slide up and slide down. Okay, so my two recent purchases are these ones here. These are the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I got the shade um, Cans and Zur Zurich. I don't even know, Zurich, something like that. Sorry about that. My uh, good old camera decided to die or whatever it decided to do. I don't know what I was up to, but this is the Astralis um, Demi Matte Liquid Lipstick in Maya. I also have one from Designer Brands in like this mulberry purple color. Not the greatest, but it's a good drugstore one, I suppose. Um, down here I have all of my Napoleon Purtis lip glosses, so these are like all the coloured ones. Um, so I've got a red, I've got a pink sparkly one, and then two nudes. These two nude ones are probably my favourite. Then I have three of the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks. The shades that I have are Besso, Loom, and Viola, so they are super freaking pretty. My favourite one is definitely the Viola shade. The next one I have is this one by Maybelline. This one is the Touch of Spice um, Lipstick Bullet. Such a beautiful um, shade and it is one of the most populars, um, popular ones from Maybelline. So surprised I got my hands on it. Um, the next one is the Revlon, Revlon, wow. The Revlon Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Rose Velvet. This is another beautiful shade. You can kind of tell the shades that I actually like to go for. They're just these dark brownie nudes. Um, the next one I have is this one from Mecca Max and this is in the shade Love Shack and it's a beautiful coral pink. 
I just wanted to go outside of my comfort zone and get a colour that I wouldn't normally wear. I then have the Kat Von D, uh, what is this actually, what are these actually called? Uh, so this is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita, such a popular shade. I then have the um, Lip Injection from Too Faced. I also have the Melted Matte in Melted Chihuahua. And then I also have another Melted Matte in the shade Hot Chocolate, or is it Chocolate Milkshake? Chocolate Milkshake. Um, and then I have Melted Nude as well by Too Faced. Um, I have two of their Melted Matte Liquefied Lipsticks. Um, this one is in Lady Balls, best name ever. It is such a good Christmassy red. I wear this like every Christmas. Um, and then I also have the shade Cool Girl. It is such a beautiful, beautiful nude. I love these ones so much. The other two that I have here, who is this by? Okay, this one's by Nutramedics. I swear this company is just never heard of anymore. Um, and this is like a really pretty purpley nude kind of color. Um, I also have an Essence Bullet Lipstick in this super pale color. I use this one for like ombre lips. I don't really use it on its own, otherwise it makes me look like I have foundation lips. These three here are the Astralis Velour Lips. These are some of my favorite liquid lipsticks. Um, the shades that I have, oh my god, I actually can't even read this. So this red one here is Buddha Pash. Now this one is a bit patchy because it is such a dark color, but it is really, really beautiful. This darker nude right here is Paris. And then this one here is Miller No. The next one I have is the Rimmel Apocalypse um, Lip Lacquer and I have the shade Nude Eclipse. I love this so much. It is high gloss, high shine. But the smell, uh, <coughs> my God, the smell is revolting. So if you can try and get past the smell, then I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, the next two I have here that are like going a bit funny on me. I need to mix them up. Um, these ones are the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippies. And the shades that I have are Beeper and teeny tiny. I like never really wear these because I wear Echo Park more than anything. And then last but not least um, for my makeup collection today, I have two of these Bourjois um, 3D Effect lip glosses. These are absolutely outstanding. This one is a whole nother level. It is like super shiny, super glossy. It's so beautiful. And then this is the red one that I have and I love wearing this over the top of my labels um, shade from Too Faced. So this is 06 and then this one is 29. So that is pretty much the video for today, you guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you had fun looking at all the makeup that I had. My jaw really freaking hurts from talking so much. I'm gonna go and eat. I'm gonna go and watch a movie and just spend my Sunday night the way you're supposed to send spell. What? I'm gonna go spend my Sunday night the way you're supposed to spend them. Why the fuck was that so hard? I don't even know anymore. So if you guys like this video, which I'm really hoping you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it would mean so much to me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But until next time guys, I will see you in my next video. Peace out doggy, bye bye. Bye.